All right. Well, I like using this rapid flask stuff. It's great. Make sure you hold it f far from the bowl and pour it into the flask with a stream rather than try to glop it in. And I start in the posterior and let it run forward and let it encircle the land mass and then work its way up the faces of the teeth. But I pour it like this without vibration and it's wonderful. Um, never get any bubbles. Um, it's, and as you notice it just flows extremely nice. It's rapid flask from whip mix. Um, I slow it down just a little bit, let it catch up because I don't want to over pour too quickly but it runs extremely nice and the cool thing is in about 20 minutes this is ready to rock and it's much better than my 50-50 mix of hydrocal and plaster that I was used to doing. Um, I'm just finding I'm getting a much nicer result using this product rather than the old technique that I used for years. Never thought I would change. Um, but I thought I would try this, give it a whirl, because of first off the strength factor, second off of course the speed of the set and uh, the lack of bubbles and vibration and everything. And again, I don't know if you can see it, but it's slowly reaching its way up. And uh, it'll start to set up if you move a little too slow. But you can see it's just, it's just uh, very smooth, nice smooth consistency. All the bubbles seem to come to the top if there are any trapped air, if there's any air, trapped air, it seems to want to escape all on its own to the top. It never lays on the surface of the tooth. I don't use any kind of a spray desiccant, or not desiccant, but what do they call it, like a spray uh, um, uh, surfactant. I'm just looking for the word. It's a surf surfactant. I don't use anything like that. That's that was just basically nothing to it. Now, at the end here, what I like to do is pour it till it looks like it's just about ready to breach the top of the flask. And then when I put my lid on, and by the way, I don't know if you'll notice, but on the sides of the flask, I don't have anything oozing out of the edges. That's A, because I keep my flasks extremely clean. The interface between the metal to metal is, is nice and uh, so thus I don't have any kind of leakage. Now I just take my lid and I place it on as you can see it'll be a little messy. I like to have it run like out the top of those vent holes so that um, it locks the lid on. Again I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. In a second I'll go and get myself a, a wet sponge. Actually I could do that now. I usually take a wet sponge and just wipe it, uh, wipe it off. Um, anyways, Rapid Flask from Whitmix, and again, another time saver, um, and another way to make a quality prosthetic with is very little extra cost. It's about the same cost as the stones that I had been using previously, and yet I'm getting a much nicer, easier result. I don't have to vibrate the living crap out of everything here. So, okay, talk to you later. Just another Matrix moment.